Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I'll show you how to determine a PTF from a given APAR. The first thing we need to do is to go to the eFix PTF Distribution Services panel where all the in control PTFs are stored. To do this, go to the BMC support webpage www.bmc.com support. And this is what we can see displayed in this initial screen. From here, we will select the Download and Products option. And from the drop down list, select Mainframe PTFs. In the next screen, select eFix PTF Distribution Services. And then you will be presented with a PTF Distribution Services main screen. Note that you can find help and tutorial links that will tell you more about this service. For this demonstration, we will look at Control M for ZOS APAR number BM10922, which is for version 700. So from the environment drop down list, we select the release number required. In this case, version 700. Since we're searching on an APAR number, we need to set the search type to APAR. And then in the search arguments screen, we enter the APAR number BM10922. And then hit the search button. In the resultant screen, you can see details of the APAR name, the date it was created, and a short title. To get the detail of the PTF for this APAR, all you need to do now is to select the APAR hyperlink. In the next screen, you'll see details of the PTF associated with this APAR. If there's more than one PTF associated with this APAR, they will all be listed here. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.